We're in church one Sunday, and it's something our family still laughs about to this day. It was his first acolyte. Very first one. So he wanted it so bad, but he was also a little nervous. And so, you know, he comes marching down with the procession in his robe, and he gets through all that fine, and it's time for communion. And that's when we still did communion with the trays and all the plastic cups in there for um, the drink. And William, they're, they're brought back up to the front by the ushers and they're in a stack and the acolytes are to take these cups and walk back and place them back near the altar. And William is walking back with his tray on his first Sunday of acolyting and drops the whole entire trays and plastic cups go bounding all through the floor. He'd never heard a sound like that and the whole church just, nobody made a peep. William's face turned so red. I think mine did too. And everybody's frozen for a minute. I think finally Warren Black kind of lets it out and laughs and then everybody exhales and laughs and William goes on and picks it up and we we would laugh with him about that so many times and uh, it was it was one of those moments that was actually turned out to be a great moment for our family but I'm often reminded you know William was a child of the church and I, I'm reminded that Everybody who suffers from addiction is a child of the church. I'm David McGee. And I'm Kent McGee. And our son William died of an accidental drug overdose. As a result, we've been working with others to help create the William McGee Center for Wellness Education at the University of Mississippi. So William was a classic um, high achiever who had this thing going on beyond the awareness of a lot of others that was so much deeper than we knew. And then finally he just couldn't control it anymore. And you know, it admitted, I have a problem. I need help. Your first reaction is, this can never happen. I mean, this won't happen to our kids or our family. Um, I know it's a problem, but I feel like we're good. But then more and more of like all of us, it's happening to our kids. And they're exposed to so much that we were never exposed to. And it happens. And then the next thing, maybe you, they agree to get counseling and you get into maybe a treatment program. And then that's where we were. And my very worst fear at that point was I thought, I just hope that he can put this behind him, that we, you know, that he's not um, one day has a wife and a family of his own and then and still is struggling with this problem. That was my worst fear until the worst day of our lives when um, he didn't answer the phone and didn't answer messages and we found that he'd passed away. Um, and then just, you know, you feel like a baseball bat has just hit you in the face and your life as you knew it is, is, is gone. And it, it's like David said, there's, it's pain that you never, never could have comprehended existed. And that's what we all face. The stakes, the problem is so big and the stakes are so high. There are success stories every day, and as I said, we as a family have seen that and experienced it, and it is beautiful beyond anything any of us ever could have imagined. And you know, Ken is right. When it's there's nothing more beautiful than seeing people emerge with clear minds. It takes a while. It's a process, but when they find themselves and they become that person God created. It is incredibly beautiful. 
So the idea is through, through this center, people can be reached earlier. Problems can be identified sooner. Then, you know, hopefully people can learn to function in the environment of a university and make some of the right choices. And frankly, they'll be in a much better spot. There are funds needed to make this happen. There, there's no other resources if we don't go out and raise it. And um, that opportunity still exists for people to reach out and make a financial contribution. And, you know, I, I think what's important about that is um, all money that's raised for this is going into an endowment that will allow this to be sustainable. What we are creating here is a center that we believe will outlive us all and change the culture and lives for so many years to come.